Welcome back YouTubers, uh, Double J here with the Can Hunt and Canuck channel. Just wanted to show you what I got. This is my uh, CQA 5.56 Naranko M4. But uh, that's not really what I'm showing you because there's already been reviews and everything on that. I wanted to get a, uh, a site for it. And I went uh, online, I was looking at, the, I was trying to find a Bushnell Halo site or whatever it's called, the Halo site. And I went on eBay and couldn't find any. And then I uh, ended up finding this one here. A close-up shot of it. Now it says, if you can read that, the focus, EOTech. But actually it's a, um, it's either a 5.552 or 5.56, one or the other. I forget the name of the, uh, the actual site. Clone. And uh, it was, you know, really cheap. I just wanted a cheap site. Uh, the regular EOTEX costs, you know, half as much as his rifle does, so I uh, found this one. He uh, shipped it real fast. They took it off eBay because they, cause they are clones, and uh, I guess EOTEX found out about it, and so they pulled them off, but I uh, figured I'd just show it to you anyways. It, uh, you know, it's a nice sight. It takes uh, AA batteries. It's got, uh, let me turn it on here. Oh, well, you can see that. There you go. It's got uh, green. Oops. And you can switch it. The right button here. Uh, or red. And uh, as far as I know, they said it was tested on 5.56, so. Uh, I'm going to try it out and see if I can get to hold zero. Okay, I'm back. Uh, we got some results here. This was just a sighting in target. Just trying to get it on paper and dial it into the zero. All these were shot at our indoor range, so it's only uh, 20 meters. So let's see how it worked. So after I got it on paper, I turned it off. I turned it back on. I don't know see if that made any difference and I switched the colors just just see what it would do and these were shot with the uh, those American Eagle 55 grain full metal jackets you can see the result there not too too bad and uh, the Winchester value packs you get 40 rounds I think it is and those are 45 grain jacketed hollow points so that's what that did at uh, 20 meters and, uh, with the red. Now this one I, I knew I called it so that's I knew I jerked the trigger a little bit on that one so not a bad uh, not a bad grouping. All things considered I was shooting with the uh, a shot of the rest here. Just the rest I was using is just this cheap uh, Cadwell um, these are for handguns mostly because it's got this nice pad on it, so it's not, you know, plastic. It is sure as hell ain't no bench rest rest. And I was loading singles because I forgot my mags because I'm an idiot. And so that, you know, threw it off a little bit. But uh, all things considered, it shoots pretty nice. I mean, uh, even if that opened up a bit, that, you know, we're going to take it to the outdoor range at 50 meters there. Uh, even if that opened up a bit, I mean, that's still, you know, easily men in a zombie for that. And I'd love to take it to my, um, I'll show you it. I'd love to take it and shoot it at my outdoor range, but uh, for some stupid reason, they uh, classified the uh, the AR-style rifles as restricted. And so you have to be, you can only shoot it at a registered club. So I can't shoot it out in my backyard, which would probably get oh, three, four hundred uh, meters easily out in the field there. But uh, so I'm stuck shooting it uh, at a range whenever uh, the weather smartens up, gets a little warmer and drier, so I can get out there, and I'll have some more results then. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the flip.